ladies and gentlemen, the power grid is under an emergency. So it's been an emergency declared on the purple area that you're looking at. And I'm in that purple area. Mm -mm -mm. So the largest U.S. power grid declares emergency alert for July 27th. So PJM Interconnection LLC has declared a level one emergency for 13 Eastern U.S. state which I guess we all share the same power grid mm -mm -mm, and called on all power grid plants to operate at full capacity Thursday during a heat wave. Yeah, it is hot as an MF out here. It is so true. The largest U.S. power grid issued an emergency, energy emergency level one alert meaning it is concerned about being able to maintain adequate power reserves on July 27th as consumers and businesses turn up their air conditioning amid scorching heat. PJM has ordered all power plants to be online for consumer enrolled and demand response programs to be ready to curtail their electricity usage to keep power supply stable, according to a notice late Wednesday. Across the U.S., about 170 million people are under heat advisories or excessive heat warnings. PJM, which serves more than 65 million from Washington, D.C. to Illinois, warned of potential tight conditions earlier in the week and it asks generators to be prepared, power suppliers that failed to show up when asked to buy the power grid may face stiff penalties. Well, this don't sound good, y'all. This don't sound good at all. So, an emergency. Mm -mm -mm, over the power grid. And we know these things are going to happen. I can tell you in my state, I know for a fact the county that I'm in, the power grid is past 50 years old. It's long past 50 years old. Like, I believe over 72% of the country, power grids are past its life expectancy. So this can't be good that they're declaring this. And somehow with all the heat waves that we're seeing and we're going to surely see in August as well, I'm sure there's going to be more emergency declarations in regards to the power grids in this country. And this is the result of not maintaining and keeping these things up like they should have been and not just keep running and running and running and then when you get to the end of its life you didn't even prepare yourself you know that's why they're warning people power outages could last longer and there are some areas that possibly won't come back on at all boy isn't that one way to get rid of people if they realize they're not getting any electricity anymore, yeah, they'll pack up and get the hell up on out of here, won't they? So it's interesting and we shall see. I mean, it is kind of nerve wracking if you live in that area. You know, you don't want no power outage during a heat wave. And I've seen this in other states where people have to get out and go to a mall or go somewhere where there's air conditioning to get through the day. I have seen that before. You know, um, I believe it was in Texas. It might have been 2021 or 2020. It was an area in Texas that was out and people had to literally leave their homes and go somewhere where they had air conditioning to get through the day because it was, they were out. Their power was just out for, uh, I think, more than a week. I mean, it, it's crazy. 
But y'all, I sure hope you're not in an area with this problem. I hope you're not. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.